Bradley has it for the Knicks. Puts it up and misses. DeBusher blocked by Chamberlain. New York's ball as Goodrich had it out of bounds. Bradley is three for 14 in the game. Frazier gives it to Monroe. He missed it. Chamberlain has the rebound. 24 rebounds for Wilt. 24 rebounds, 22 points. Jerry West. And he hit as he goes for the shot. Time call. Take another look at the play in which West is fouled. Jerry Lucas, as you see, as he hit him right in the face. 5-23 to play in a ball game. Los Angeles leads New York, 96-85. Number 44, Jerry West will go to the line. He's 6'3", 185-pounder. He's 34 years old. All-American from West Virginia. 12 years in the NBA. He has never been on a championship team. He's five minutes and 23 seconds away from it. His ball club leads by 11 points over the fighting New York Nick team. 97-85. A 13-point Los Angeles lead. I think they can start pumping up the balloons now. New York is 2 of 13 in this quarter. You'd say that after you took all the air out of them. <laughs> 1969. They do remember you here in this city. Chamberlain got a piece of it. It's picked up by West. You got a three on two. McMillan. And it's knocked out of bounds. On a good defensive play by the three retreating Knicks. Five minutes and one second to play. Bradley leaves. And Bill Jackson comes back for New York. You know, to the Knickerbockers, it'll seem like two minutes. And to the Lakers, it'll seem like an hour. Ball is knocked away by Frazier, fed down to by Monroe, and Frazier puts it in. And we got a foul. From Walt Frazier. Second personal on Walt, who's trying to do it all tonight. Let's take five seconds in our special exclusive sports presentation on ABC so our local stations can identify themselves. WJZ TV Channel 13, Baltimore. Backcourt foul, 15 foul, and Gail Goodrich three to make two. 12 point Los Angeles lead, 13 point Los Angeles lead. The Lakers have 100, and Gail Goodrich has scored 21. Frazier, oh, great play. He is really having a ball game. 26 points for Walt. Pass to McMillan, basketball. 20 points for Jim McMillan. Foul. McMillan. That's four on Jimmy. That's the Laker dressing room. They don't have balloons, but they got that other stuff. Dave Diles will be down there if there is a celebration. If there is a celebration. I think maybe this time they may get a chance to drink it. They've had that on, on ice for quite a few years. <laughs> Frazier, 12 out of 21 from the field, 2 out of 5 from the line. Walt hits it. Next now, double teaming, trapping. He gets it out, gives to West. Jerry all the way. The Lakers have momentum. Jerry West is 23 points. 14 point lead. 104 to 90 as Lucas shoots and Jerry hits one. They double team Hairston. He gets it out to Goodrich. Give it in to Wilk. Bad pass, gets away. Meminger gets it for New York. 
3.40. It is not a time to get careless. Lucas. Missed it. Rebound. Goodrich. Chamberlain runs into him, and he travels. <laughs> Earl Monroe returns, and Bill Jackson goes out. So let's see. They've got Monroe. They've got Bradley. And they've got Frazier. And the Busher and Lucas. Frazier. Makes McMillan, puts it up, missed it, Chamberlain rebound. That ought to be about 25 for him, or 26. I think Walt got hit on that one. But again, that's academic now. Yep. Three minutes to play in a ball game. Three. 104-92, and Goodwin scores again. 23 points for Stumpy. Jerry West and Gail Goodrich have 46 points out of the Los Angeles backcourt. Bill Bradley gives to Walt Frazier. Walt has 28 points in the ball game. 29 points in the ball game. What a player. Two and a half minutes to go. Los Angeles leading by 12. Goodrich. Chamberlain. 24 points for Will Chamberlain. 26 rebound. That's pretty good afternoon. That's pretty good evening there. Lucas. Pretty one by Jerry. They knock it away from Will. And two minutes and two seconds. Foul is on Frazier. Here's the look at Wilt Slam. You know, I think, I'm not sure, but I think he's the only member of the Lakers that have been that has been on a championship team before. You're right. He is. Wilt Chamberlain at the line. 24 points, 26 rebounds. He's blocked eight shots. He has eight assists. I don't know what else he could do outside of selling, uh, working in the concession at halftime. You know, Keith, I think of the, all the three series with uh, Chicago, Milwaukee, and the Knicks, he's been more Pretty responsible good. for them winning than, than any man. Right. He has had a tremendous playoff. He's just about to bust, isn't he? Well, he missed, <laughs> missed all three of them. Two minutes. And I don't think he's worried about it either. No. Don't think so. Lucas on a drive, gives it away to Monroe, back to Luke. Bradley is short with it, goes right to Chamberlain, that's 27 rebounds. Goodrich, great effort by Dave DeBusher on the block. And Dave DeBusher is playing like a champion. He knows that they can't win this game, but he's going to go down fight. He's going to go down hustling with his head up. That pretty lady is Jerry West by James. Chamberlain leaves the ball game and listen to the crowd. <laughs> Jerry West came over and shook his hand. And then Jerry West sat down. Los Angeles has the ball. McMillan, Hairston, Ellis, Goodrich, and Riley. Got misses. Walt Frazier rebounds it. We've got a foul on Riley. We're inside two minutes. They'll shoot. A key in this ball game for the New York Knicks. Bill Bradley, three of 16, and he committed six turnovers. He's had a tough night, and Jimmy McMillan primarily responsible for it. Bill Jackson throws it in. Got a foul, backcourt, Dave DeBusher. And Dave is gone, and the crowd has got to come up and appreciate this tremendous athlete. He's just fouled out. Thirteen points, thirteen rebounds. 
for a heck of a guy, Dave DeBusher. Gail Goodrich is on the line, three to make two on the backcourt foul. We have a minute and 15 seconds to play. Los Angeles leads by 11 points, now 12. And it grows more academic as the seconds tick away. New York calls time. A minute and 13 seconds to play. Score, Lakers 110, Knicks 98. Lowry, as Wilt Chamberlain has just been announced as the most valuable player by Sports Magazine, and for that, he wins a brand new 1972 automobile. <laughs> Meantime, in the locker room, they have turned the glasses up the right way. And Dave Diles will be down there as our prudential NBA report will come out of the Los Angeles Lakers locker room. And it will be rowdy happy deliriously happy rebound is taken off by leroy ellis flynn robinson is in the lineup everybody getting a shot at it riley rebound jimmy clemens is in the lineup a rookie from ohio state on a championship team goes for the basket he missed it rebound jackson frazier basket hanging walter has a shot great ball game for frazier 31 points the knicks have a hundred the Lakers have 110. We're 40 seconds away from the finish. I'd like to take just a moment to express the appreciation of those of us who work in these comfortable chairs to thank the engineering corps of ABC television, all of the guys who have worked so hard through this NBA season to make it so enjoyable for us and for you. To Commissioner Walter Kennedy and his staff, to all the owners, all the teams, and all the people around the National Basketball Association, we have really enjoyed it. We hope that you have too. 20 seconds. Riley trying to go at a foulless call. There are a lot of people whose names you never hear who work long hours to make these telecasts possible and we just want them to know how much we appreciate it. They're great, Keith. There are a lot of people in the world right now obvious of the circumstance of this fifth game of the NBA. But I dare say that I, I can't think of a single man who, well, I would say two men who have to just absolutely incredibly happy when this final 23 seconds expires they would be jerry west and they would be jack kent cook because i don't reckon bill sherman's going to be too unhappy either you know i think that bill sherman's the first coach to win a championship in, in the nba and the NBA. no question about it he is dean memminger misses jimmy clemens rebounds will count it off five four Three, three. Oops, four. And they're running out. And the Los Angeles Lakers have won their first NBA title ever. And the people come roaring out of the stand. The question is, how in the world do you get the ball club into the locker room? Chamberlain trying to make his way along with the rest of the Lakers to the locker room and we'll be down there for the Prudential NBA report with Dave Diles in just a moment the final score the Los Angeles Lakers win the NBA championship beating the New York Knicks in five games 114 to 100 this is Dave Diles in the Los Angeles Lakers locker room it is absolute pandemonium here right now as you can hear and see We'll be back here in just a moment, but now up the keys for a final wrap-up. Final score, 114 to 100. The Lakers finally have one. Do you have a closing comment, Bill? They work as hard as a team can work, and they play great ball. They beat uh, three real good teams. They beat uh, Chicago, who had the third best record in the league. They beat Milwaukee, and they beat the Knicks. And the Knicks were playing the best ball of the year, uh, probably the best ball they could possibly play. And the Lakers ran over it. 
Okay, once more the final. Los Angeles 114, the New York Knicks 100. We're standing by for the Laker victory celebration, and we'll be back right after this. Not is a super feeling, but I, I think just to get the pressure off of you and having to wait for this ball game, I, I wish we could have played this game at about 10 o'clock this morning. Our team was ready to play, and say so we ran and ran and ran. We finally got something out of it. We went to the basket well tonight. And uh, as I said, people ask me, how would you feel if this would happen to you? And, and so I've been here so many times when it's been quiet, quiet, quiet in the dressing room. And uh, as I say, it's just, just an unbelievable feeling. I don't really don't know what to say. Maybe tomorrow, but th this is just too much. I think Jerry, I want to say this to you on behalf of all of us at ABC and basketball fans everywhere. You not only are an outstanding athlete, but such a gracious human being. It is nice to see a nice man like you finally emerge as a champion. Well, Dave, I really was beginning to wonder who would ever win a championship. Even sitting home today waiting for this ball game to be played, uh, I think I had misgivings. I've seen us in a position where we could have won before and then to walk into a dressing room and, and suddenly things went right. And, and the first half, I didn't feel we played that badly, but we were only 53-53. And uh, as I say, just to win, uh, just to walk over and sit on the bench and know you got the game won. I've been in the other position where I sat over there and watch these other guys out there. And believe me, it, it's just a very gratifying feeling. I, I say tomorrow I might have something else to say. But I never saw you so uptight as you were before a game. We were going to do a little interview with you before the game, and you said, hey, Dave, I'd rather not, and we understood that. I've never seen you quite that tense before a game. Well, Dave, uh, as I say, this time of year, I'm a very strange person about things like that. During the day of the game, I, I really like to be by myself and, and have my own special thoughts, and uh, particularly this time of year, and uh, thank God I've got a family that can understand that. Uh, uh, some people don't understand that. Some people say you're grouchy, but I try not to be that way, but it's just, just in me that, that, I'm, uh, that I'm that way. But It'll be a lot nicer summer with the family. Oh, no, boy. I think in the past, uh, in the past summers, I've always had to say, what happened to you guys? And, uh, <laughs> you know, well, they were lucky or something like that, but uh, this time, uh, we're the ones that are going to sit there, and everyone's going to tell us uh, what happened to the other guys, and uh, as I say, it's just a fantastic feeling. Uh, this is the greatest basketball team I've ever played on. Uh, Will Chamberlain was fantastic. Gail Goodrich, Happy Harrison, Jimmy McMillan. All year long, we had guys on the bench that contributed a great deal. This was not a one-man ball club at all. So it was just a great feeling to play on a team like this. I know you want to get to that bubbly stuff. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Gail Goodrich. The man, Bill Russell, what did he say about you? Didn't play defense too often, but when do you do, huh? Gail, how do you feel? I feel very, very good. I think this is something that we worked very, very hard for. And when you work very hard for something and, and everything, you come out on top at the end, I think you have to be very really happy. Gail, we're very happy for you. As you say, it's been a long wait. You had a great series, and our congratulations to you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Let me welcome an old friend in here. Here's got to be a guy who hasn't waited quite as long. What do you say, my man? Here's a man, Happy Harrison, who has played on some bad ball clubs in the past, and it's been very frustrating. And finally, you got to the Lakers. I was with you the night you found out in Detroit you were being traded to the Lakers. You had as big a smile then as you have now. No, Dave, it's great. And I'm going to be a ham, and, and uh, I, there are two real important people in my life that I, I think will share with me and winning this. My mother, Ms. Harrison, in North Carolina, who I like to sell Odo, and my sister in New York, because, you know, they're two people that's very close to me, and, and I, I'm sure that they played every game with me. And uh, they, uh, the ball club is just great. I think Will Chamberlain was outstanding and, and, and Jerry West. And I also like to mention that it's really, really sad that Elgin Baylor didn't share this with us. But, you know, I, I think in, in, in spirit he's still with us. Okay, Hap, thank you very much. Congratulations. We'll be right back after this timeout. Player in the NBA, this is an early thrill for you when some other guys have waited a long time. <laughs> Well, I'm not complaining at all. Uh, you know, it was a matter of us trying to win this thing. I think Jerry and Will especially were really up for this series. And I just sort of got swept along in the tide. Jimmy, congratulations. And I, I want to pay tribute to an outstanding basketball player, a man who was the first man from the opposition camp to walk in here and say congratulations to the opponents, Dave DeBusher, who played under a lot of handicap in this series. Dave, a great series for you. Well, they, uh, I thought the L.A. played great. Uh, they, they had a fantastic year. They deserved to win. Uh, there's no question about it. They beat us fair and square. Uh, uh, we had a good year, but they deserved it. Dave, you're pretty well taped up. Uh, I can tell you weren't yourself out there tonight in the last two or three games. Uh, I felt better than I have, but, you know, it's no excuses. They Dave, just good. quality guy, a quality performer, Dave DeBusher of the New York Knicks. Bill, uh, here he is. Here's Pat Riley. Pat Riley's got a got a bottle of the bubbly. Pat, uh, a man who has who has come from an area where great uh, basketball is the is the byword down in Kentucky with uh, Adolph Rupp, the Baron down there. The championships, no surprise to you, but you must feel super. I tell you something. Uh, I feel like I've been reborn. It's just uh, uh, you know you come with a ball club that like the Lakers after being with uh, teams over the years that haven't won, and 
It's just not an experience that I'm going to savor all summer. I'll tell you that right now. Even with a fat lip, I didn't even worry about you it. You got that early in the game, didn't you? Pat, Pat, Pat thanks, thanks for, Let me get Leroy Ellison here. A man, you talk about a man who is well-traveled in the NBA and a man who moves every instant he's on the court and I think had a superior series on a spot basis. Leroy, you must feel very good right now. I do, thank you. I started out with the Lakers in 1962 and we played four seasons with them. We came close against the Boston Celtics and Bill Russell uh, three out of four years. But uh, then I went to Baltimore, Portland, and made the complete circle and finally came back and we've done it. You earned your way back, Leroy. Thank you. Okay, Leroy Ellis of the Los Angeles Lakers, and we'll be right back after this timeout. The proprietor of the fabulous forum, Jack Kent Cook, and Bill Russell wanted to know if you were speechless. <laughs> I've never been speechless in my life. I'll tell you this, though. If I have the great good fortune to go to heaven, I know that when I get there, I'm going to say to St. Peter, I'd rather go back and win the world's championship of the National Basketball Association. We do that more fun. What do you oh, think, Billy? Billy, hey, you can't beat it. You can't beat the feeling, can oh, you? Oh, it's the most wonderful feeling I've had in a long, long time. But Jack, this is a team that uh, really wasn't tough for you to put together. All you did was hire some high-priced talent and put them out there and say, play. Bill, you know that that's a canard of the lowest <laughs> order. Isn't that right? Huh? Isn't that right? Yeah. I amuse him, you know, and I'll tell you, he amuses me. He amuses me. I could be amused by anything tonight. Nothing could make Say you mad tonight. Say boo, and we'll both laugh, won't we, Willie? Hey, listen, Jack. Yes, Bill. You can grab some more balloons now, all right? Uh, <laughs> you had to bring that up, didn't you, Jack? We, we, we didn't have any pre uh, prepared ceremony for this one at all. You're not super pigeons, are you? The most superstitious man next to you I've ever met. My life. Jack, Jack, we we got a picture of you hauling in the champagne here with six minutes to play. Now that must have come from somewhere. Well, that was ordered by somebody else, and I don't know why this organization of mine buys these expensive. <laughs> oh, I'll never understand. The man that. who paid all that money is going to have to account to oh, for you. Isn't it? Look, money or anything else, just think of this as a coordinated team, a very very great team, matching some of the teams that Bill Russell put together and that Bill Russell contributed so much to and broke my heart for six of the seven years. You remember those? Oh, yeah, I, I used to hate him and yet liked him. Well, I've had the same feeling about him now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, we're, we're going to throw it up to Keith Jackson for just a second and see if we can get the coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. Keith, take it for a second, would you? All right, Dave. The Los Angeles Lakers won six to nine and lost 13 during the regular season. They set eight NBA league records. They won 33 consecutive games. In the playoffs, the Lakers won 12 of the 15 playoff games in which they participated. So over the season, they accumulated an astounding record of 81 wins against only 16 losses. In final rebounds tonight, it perhaps typifies this particular ball club. In rebounds, Los Angeles had 76. The New York Knicks had 47. So that'll give you an idea of just how determined they were. And the sign that hangs over the nearly empty forum now says the Los Angeles Lakers, the new NBA world champions. And again, here is Dave Diles in the locker room. Okay, it's kind of wild out here. We're trying to get Bill Sharman over here now. Bill, oh, he's being embraced by Jack Kent Cook. Hello, Bill. Huh? He's asking if he can talk. I want to. I want to tell you something. You're in better voice this moment that's than you were before that's the game. Right. You've I been can, faking. Uh, when we win, I talk a little bit better, Dave. You know that. Uh, but I'm. I'm terribly pleased at, at this rate. Uh, that I know I've been through a few of these things with this uh, fellow right over here, and I was lucky enough to play with him. So I hope a little bit of that rubbed off on us. And uh, for what it's worth, for when it's at night, I give this guy a lot of credit because he showed the way for a lot of us. And uh, you know. What's that? Plus, he's a pretty good announcer, too. But I, except I'm, he's I, using I, big words, and I can't understand him now sometimes. We write him down for him. He doesn't understand him. Right? No, he oh, doesn't know. I don't know, know who his writer is, you know. Keith, Keith Jackson does most of that. Listen, he, and, he and Shankel. I remember I used to talk to him. I could understand him. And now I don't know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> Bill, oh, I this, I'm going to ask you one question about this team, Bill. And I know the Celtics were a great team uh, of individuals who blended together. But I think this coach here with his old Celtic training has done the same job here. He came here and sort of put in a new system for him. Uh, don't you think a new I system where he made him work hard? You know, Sherman, you were uh, voted uh, coach of the year. But you know, um, they didn't have to tell you that. I was going to say, I can't remember being voted anything, but I forgot about that one. <laughs> you know, I mean, Sherman, you know that uh, you know what kind of job you did. And uh, I know there's got to be you know, the greatest feeling because you work so hard, you know, and you put you put a real good team, you know, you and uh, Casey and all those guys, and uh, 
it's hard for me to talk. You know, I like you so much. I know. It's hard to talk to Natasha at the golf course. <laughs> hey, you know, I want to take a minute here to see if we can get Elgin Baylor in here. Phil. Okay. Hey, Elgin, somebody get Elgin over here, can you? Elgin Baylor is here, and I th we'd like to get Elgin if we could, because if a man ever deserved to share in this championship, it's Elgin Baylor, a man who worked so hard for so many years to be a part of it. I see he's being interviewed now. We've tried to get Wilt Chamberlain over here, and Wilt is absolutely swamped. And Bill, I, I just want to add one final word from you on this championship. I know that you're the one man in basketball who appreciates a team effort, and I think that's exactly what the Los Angeles Lakers had. Right. They, uh, they had a, a bunch of guys that they got good service from for the whole series. I think that uh, uh, Jim McMillan, Gail Goodrich had outstanding series. Uh, West had his usual outstanding series, but I think that um, this is probably the best basketball that Will Chamberlain has played his career uh, in this playoff series for a sustained effort. Well, I want to congratulate Casey Jones to an outstanding assistant coach for the Los Angeles Lakers. Some of Russell must have rubbed off on you, too. It had to. You know, when you play with a guy like Bill Russell, who is called the bearded genius, I understand. You know. oh, 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 You've been, you been reading this press oh, oh, oh. Casey, congratulations. Thank you very much, Bill. It's been a real thrill working with you all year. And now back to Keith Jackson. All right, gentlemen, you have a good time. I don't think it'll be very hard down in that room as the Los Angeles Lakers defeat the New York Knicks by a score of 114 to 100. And they are the champions of the NBA for the very first time. The Prudential NBA Report has been brought to you by the people who want you to own a piece of the rock. The Prudential Insurance Company of America. Own a piece of the rock. This has been an ABC Sports presentation.